Ed John, due to caregiving, here are today's ingredients. Yes, it's still a bit tough. Well then, let's start preparing this. Once again, today's ingredients are here, still alive and quite lively. I just bought them at the market earlier. Whenever I see octopus wasabi at an izakaya, I always order it. It's my favorite. And then, a neighbor gave me this. Is this wasabi potato and blade wasabi? It's natural wasabi, right? You eat these leaves, and there's a proper potato attached. However, today we have such fresh octopus and excellent wasabi, so I'd like to make octopus wasabi. I bought two, so maybe I'll make octopus rice too. Let's start by freeing them from this octopus net. Oh, they're lively. Wait, don't run away. Oh, this one doesn't seem energetic, but wow, this one is lively, right? Wait, where are you going? Hey, this is bad. Wait a minute, I need to talk to you. It's urgent. Can you spare a moment? I have something important to discuss. It won't take long, I promise. Just a quick conversation. Thank you for waiting. I appreciate your patience. Excessively full of energy. What is the message you wish to convey? Understood. I will take note of it. Today I bought lively octopuses, a male and a female. Are you seriously energetic over here? Let's start by tightening them up. I'll insert the knife between the eyebrows. We will conclude here. We will also finalize things here. Let's complete this here. Legs turned white. Still move somewhat, but have become calmer. Next, we will begin cutting out the insides. It is located inside the head. Well, octopuses are often referred to as head head, but in reality, it is the internal organs. Turn the head over. Here, the internal organs are inside, so we will remove them. There is a mouth here, so it's dangerous to hold it here. Number nine, when it reaches this size, the strength from the numbers is quite strong. Look at my hand. Surprised, right? Yes, the organs have been removed. I'll remove the organs from this side. This is the liver of the octopus, right? I've never heard of anyone eating the innards of an octopus. I wonder if it tastes good. This ink is from a squid that's been crushed. It's said to have a higher concentration than squid ink and is quite difficult to obtain. Look, it's really intense even on your hands because it's a bit tricky to crush. In Korean cuisine, there's a dish called sanakji where live octopus is sliced up quickly and eaten with sesame oil and salt. And I really like that. Let's try that. Cut off the tip, put it in a bowl, sprinkle a bit of salt, gently massage to remove the sliminess. In this manner, should we incorporate sesame oil into the small plate? Cut it into pieces that are small enough to be bitten. Please confirm if we should proceed. Once you have plated it, you can proceed to dip it in the flavorful sesame oil for an enhanced taste experience. Yes, it is quite delicious, but a bit fishy. Maybe it's because it's made from octopus powder, which gives it a less fishy smell and a good taste. It has a slightly different smell when it's cooked. Yes, then we'll use this octopus for the octopus wasabi. We'll generously sprinkle salt on this octopus. Add plenty of salt. Knead firmly to remove the sliminess. When frozen once, it's easier to remove the sliminess. But for this dish called octopus wasabi, I want to preserve the crunchy texture. So I intentionally won't freeze it and aim to thoroughly remove the live octopus's sliminess. Freezing doesn't easily degrade the taste. In fact, it's said to become softer and tastier. So, for those who want to use fresh octopus at home, it might be a good idea to bring it to this state and freeze it once. So, let's knead for 30 minutes. Yes, let's continue kneading with salt for 30 minutes until the sliminess is removed. Then, I bought two cups, but I'll give one to the neighbor. Let's cook this side. First, we'll start by cutting the octopus into chunks. Remove the head, then trim the tip a bit. Let's chop it to about this size. Like this, right?
I can make quite a lot here. I should stop chopping the thick parts and try to remember or something. Yes, then for the octopus rice, I'll set aside about this much and make it into octopus wasabi. First, put the octopus from earlier into a bowl and add some sake here. It's unclear for translate. Add a little bit of salt and then finally chop the Japanese chili pepper and put it in. Combine the ingredients. Next, we have the wasabi making an appearance here. This one is natural wasabi and this one is a fine real wasabi. So let's grate a bit of the real wasabi and add it in. Lightly remove the rough parts and grate it from the head sides. This is good wasabi, isn't it? Looks delicious. Let's mix it. While it's already complete as octopus wasabi, adding the crunchy texture and spiciness of these wasabi leaves here makes it even more delicious. Let's prepare the wasabi leaves. This cast iron part of the wasabi leaves can also be used, turning it into regular wasabi for sashimi for example. Today we will use the leafy part. Let's remove the leafy part. When you delicately cook the wasabi leaves, it brings out the spiciness and enhances the flavor. Merely pouring boiling water over them is adequate. Pour the hot water over them. Ah, keep pouring continuously. This should be acceptable. Then, we will chop the blanched wasabi leaves and include them. Like this, then we'll mix it together. After resting in the fridge for about an hour, the homemade octopus wasabi is ready. Next, we'll make octopus rice by putting one cup of washed and soaked rice into a serving pot. So, here we have a rough cut bonito flakes dashi prepared. For things like skipjack tuna, you quickly put them in boiling water and strain them. But for this rough cut sushi, you simmer it for about 15 to 20 minutes to bring out the flavor of the bonito flakes. Ah, this shaving is good. Now here's 200 cc of dashi. Once you catch a whiff of the mouth-watering aroma, add the dashi and then pour in a little bit of sake to enhance the flavors. Include a small amount of light soy sauce also. Add approximately one tablespoon of soy sauce, then add the freshly chopped raw octopus. Cover it, set the solid fuel, Place the pot on top of it and light the fire. Once the fire goes out and it steams for approximately 10 minutes, it is done. Okay, the task is completed. Let us dig in and enjoy. It turned out really nicely, just as we hoped. Then sprinkle some ginger here and mix it in lightly for added flavor. The rice looks delicious too, perfectly charred like this. Serve it in a bowl and let's start with the mouth-watering octopus rice dish. Time to savor the flavors and have a satisfying meal. Yum, yummy. This is tasty. Every rice grain soaks up the flavorful bonito. Then the octopus adds a fantastic touch of flavor and texture, making it really delicious. The finely shredded ginger at the end also enhances the flavor. Next, I used fresh and springy octopus for this octopus wasabi. Additionally, in terms of thickness, isn't this about three times thicker than the ones you find in stores? It's already a luxurious size. Let's also add wasabi leaves and enjoy for about five minutes. Mmm, this is so tasty. It's totally hitting the spot with that spicy kick, which means it's time for some sake. Today we have octopus rice and octopus wasabi made with fresh octopus. Let's pair it with a drink right here. Ready? Cheers with the silver sake cup. Here we have a five versus five match. Let's dive in. Today, the sake goes down smoothly. Let's enjoy it with some good food. 
After saying thank you for the meal, today I tried making the classic octopus and everyone's favorite octopus rice using live octopus as snacks. Both turned out delicious. Personally, the octopus wasabi was so spicy that it would surprise children if they ate it. But I like it that way, and that's how I enjoy octopus rice. While there are easy ways to make it with granulated dashi or white dashi, making it with bonito broth properly gives it a rich flavor, and I found myself finishing it in no time. It turns out so delicious, so when you have fresh octopus, why not give it a try? Thank you for watching today. Bye bye.